Hi, my name is Tivoli. Um, I'm Sri Lankan. I lived there for most of my life, but I also lived in Dubai when I was young. And I finished the last two years of high school at the United World College in Thailand. In this video, I'll be sharing the very vibrant non-academic life that happens at Yale in US in the form of student organizations and other interest groups. Some of the student orgs that, I, that I'm in are... Um, okay, wait, let me check. <laughs> Roosevelt, which is a chapter of the Roosevelt Institute um, and so the chapter here, it works on like policy writing so they've divided into four groups, things like um, envi environmental awareness, um, human rights, economic development, etc and you work in a team and you write a policy and if it's good it gets published and another student org that I'm part of is the student investment group a good thing about like a lot of student orgs here is that you don't have to be um, very well educated or aware about um, whatever it is they do like I'm a complete beginner and I don't think I will go into Korean finance um, I just think it's important or or good to be aware of these things and they're very open to people and a lot of student orgs are very open to people like me <laughs> I am also part of um, YNC screen test look it up on YouTube a sort of interview um, and then video production group that talks, that interviews people about their lives outside of Yale and US. Um, and another um, well student org that I'm part of is the um, YNC Kingfishies, um, which is a swim team. They're very beginner friendly and they're a very cute team. For me, going to the pool is a sort of like relaxing thing to do and it's very fun to do it with um, other people. These aren't student orgs per se, but some of the other things that I'm kind of involved in are like um, we're trying to have a TEDx happening at Yelena's probably next year, so that's exciting. And um, a sort of writing group thing <laughs> that um, meets in the mornings on Fridays, so it's called Begin the Days. You take um, your writing with you and you sit with a group of people and they give you feedback on your writing. Um, you know, the things you've done well, the things you can work on, and I find that it's a good way for me to sort of um, be accountable t for writing because it is something that I enjoy, but it's a bit easy to sort of forego it when there's more important things, so um, I really enjoy having someone holding me accountable to do um, something that I do want to do. And another thing that I kind of do is um, it doesn't even have a name because it's that informal, but let's refer to it as Freshy Meals. Um, it's something that I started because I felt like um, Yale Nurse is usually a very conducive space to meeting new people, um, but because of COVID restrictions, um, some of those opportunities have been cancelled or postponed. Um, and so Freshy Meals is basically you sign up someone else signs up for the same time to have a meal and then I group you or pair you and you can have a very casual meal together. Um, it was a way for freshmen to just to get people just to get to know people from um, our year and it has been going great. I am getting a lot of happy wholesome feedback about how um, people feel a bit more connected to um, us, the class of 24. Yale in US is very open to new ideas and fresh energy so if you wanted to start your own student org or anything like a passion project know that there will always be people willing to help you um, for example when I started my fresh emails there were so many people asking me if I needed help or if there was anything they could do um, the diversity in this space is, is so wide and so varied people have very different interests and passions but they are still willing to sit down and listen and engage in your interests and your passions people will always be willing to help and will always want to see you and see you succeed in what you do so that was a sneak peek into life at Yale in US thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next year